Not all water is the same type of water. There's three types of water scientifically. You have H3O, H2O, and H3O2. H3O is scientifically the water that is present inside of our body that we are 72% of. This is a jelly structured water. It is three hydrogen molecules plus one oxygen molecule. That is what H3O stands for. Now H2O, you guessed it, it stands for two hydrogens plus another oxygen molecule condensed together in the structure of water. This is the water present in rivers, in streams, in lakes, in bodies of water in nature. Now you have your H3O2, which is three hydrogen molecules plus two oxygen molecules attached to it. And this is the water present in fruits. It is very, very present in things like melons, such as zucchinis and cucumbers, watermelons, etc. And with that being said, this H3O2 water is scientifically the fourth phase of water. Mainstream science has started to research this structure of water and they have named it the fourth phase of water. The reason it is the fourth phase of water, it is because we can yield more energy from it and it delivers more energy to us. And not to mention in the metabolic process of water inside of our body, H3O2 actually loses an oxygen molecule when it's put in the body. So with that being said, what happens when H3O2 loses an oxygen molecule? It's H3O, so it converts into the water that our body is actually made up of. And H3O2 is um, filled with electrolytes, biophotons, it is filled with minerals, vitamins, and essential nutrients for the human body. With that being said, H3O, the water that is scientifically present inside of the body, is actually been confirmed to not be anywhere outside of the body. It is nowhere in nature, it is not in fruit, it is not in any type of food, etc. So the only way to actually get H3O back in our body is to consume H3O2 because it converts back into three hydrogen molecules plus another oxygen molecule. And the only way to do this is to eat your water or juice things like melons and juice things like cucumbers. With that being said, when people are in a constant state of consumption of H2O, 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 and you're just drinking a bunch of water, all you're doing is flushing out your kidneys. You are simply drowning your kidneys on a physical level, which is linked to you urinating so much. You are just dumping out minerals and in electrolytes in your urine. And that is why that urine appears to be the color of water, because you are literally pissing out a bunch of water. You are yielding no water when you're drinking a bunch of H2O, and that is a fact, right? That is why people intuitively know they're urinating way too much when they're drinking a gallon of water every day. That's not what you're supposed to do. That is not hydrating you.